Well, hello and welcome. In this presentation, we will be going through the process of factorizing monic quadratic equations. Now, quadratic equations basically have the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, the particular values a and b are referred to as coefficients. The x squared and the x are called variables and the c is called a constant. Now, monic quadratic equations have the value of the coefficient a set to 1. So, typical examples of monic quadratic equations x squared plus 5x plus 6 x squared minus 6x plus 9 etc etc now what basically we're doing is we're taking an equation such as this and we're moving in this direction to factorize in other words we're trying to include the brackets Whereas if I was going in the reverse direction, which is perhaps the more simpler approach, that's known as expansion. Now there's a whole lot of steps to go through. If you want to read the steps, just pause the video now. I will just skip forward and it's probably best to just to do a couple of examples. So, say I want to factorize x squared plus 5x plus 6. Well, my first step is I draw my cross and identify my variable, that being x. The second step, I go and look for the factors of 6. So what multiplied together gives me 6. So the first factor would be 1 multiplied by 6. Now, Step three, I go and have a look to see whether these two particular numbers add up to give me 7x. So by the cross method, 6 times x is 6x plus another 1 times x is 7x. Now does 7x, is that the same as 5x? Well, it's not equal to 7x, is not equal to 5x, so that is not the right solution. So what we do is we go back to step two and try another set of factors. This time we'll try two and three. So, oops, I just need to go to the next slide. So, so again, similar sort of approach. Two times x plus three times x. Two x plus three x is five x. Now five x does equal 5x. So I'm looking for the value of this coefficient here. So life is good. I have my solution. And you can see here my solution will be x plus 3, all in brackets, multiplied by x plus 2. You can see here x plus 2, x plus 3. It doesn't matter which order you put these in. And when I expand that out, you will see that the actual solution or the answer for the expansion of this will be x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now I've gone through that fairly quickly. Let's just go and do a couple more examples. So, first one, x squared plus 7x plus 12. So, let's grab my, grab my pen. I write my x's, x, x, draw my crosses, and look for the factors of 12. So, first factor, 1 and 12. Now, yeah. let's have a look. 12 times x is 12x, plus 1 times x, 1x, or if you just prefer x, 
That equals, when I add those two up, I get 13x. 13x is not equivalent to 7x. Let's try the next factor. So, 2 and 6. Well, let's have a look this time. 6 times x, 6x. Six 2 times x plus 2x. 6x plus 2x is 8x. Does 8x equal 7x? No, it doesn't, but it's getting closer. Next factor, 3 and 4. Okay, 4 times x is 4x plus 3 times x is 3x. That equals 7x. Now, does 7x equal 7x? Yes, it does. So my answer is, in brackets, x plus 3. And in the other set, set of brackets, x plus 4. OK, I'll just let you mull on that one for a second. Just pause it if you want to have a bit of a think. I'll move to the next one. I'll just clear this annotation. And next example. Right, x squared plus 22x plus 21. So straight away, I'm starting with x's. I need to draw my crosses. Right, first factor of 21. Well, I can say 1 multiplied by 21 will give me 1 multiplied by 21 is 21. Now, let's work this one out. 21 times x is 21x plus 1 times x is 1x. So I can say that equals 22x. Now, does 22x equal 22x? Yes, it does. So I have my answer, and my answer will be x plus 1, all multiplied by x plus 21. OK, so far, so good. Now we'll move on to the next one. Clearing the annotations, moving to the next example. Now, this time I have p squared minus p minus 20. So, I'm trying to solve for p. So, you notice here, this time I have p's along here. Now, the next thing you'll notice, look at the sign here. This is negative. So, to get a negative, I need to multiply a positive number by a negative number. So, my positive number I'll start with would be 1. My negative number will be negative 20. So, negative 20 times 1 is negative 20. Now, let's have a look going the other way, multiplying out the crosses. So, negative 20 times p, negative 20p, plus 1 times p, no, that's 1p, that's equal to negative 19p. Well, negative 19p is not the same as negative p. Let's go for our next factor. This time, 2 and negative 10. So, negative 10 times p, negative 10p, plus 2 times p is 2p, that's equal to negative 8p. It's closer to the answer, but not the answer I'm after. Now, 3 is not a factor. What about 4? Let's try 4 and negative 5. Now, I'm running out of room. Let's hope this is the right answer. So, negative 5 times p is negative 5p. Plus... 4 times p is 4p. That equals, well, negative p. Is negative p the same as my negative p? Yes, it is. So I have my answer. 
then we go in brackets p oops p plus four and in the other set of brackets p minus five so just be aware if we have a negative sign here it means that one value here of one constant has to be positive the other will be negative so you just need to try all the different combinations right next example now this time we're solving for y so over here a y and a y and what you'll notice here I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give me a positive number and when I add them together I get a negative number so straight away I know that both values of my constants will be negative because a negative times a negative is a positive and a negative plus a negative is negative so mm -hmm. let's look at our factors of 22 so first factor negative 1 negative 22 so this will give us negative 22 y minus another 1 y equals negative 23 y well that's not negative 13 okay what's our next factors well 22 the next one will be negative 2 negative 11 so negative 11 times y negative 11 y negative 2 times y so I'm going to subtract another 2 y that equals negative 13 y now is that negative 13 the value of that coefficient there the same as this value of this coefficient yes it is so I have my solution there y minus 2 in brackets y minus 11 Just clear that annotation and I believe I have one more example now last one we're solving for x so over here x and x and my cross is down and I'm looking for factors of 36 or actually negative 36 so I know straight up one factor will be positive one will be negative because I have a negative sign here so let's have a look so we'll start with negative 1 positive 36 so negative well I'll, I'll go like to work with positive so 36 times x is 36x minus 1x 36 minus 1x is 35x that does not give me 9x so next factor I'll just work my way up here negative 2 and 18 so 18 times x 18x minus 2x that gives me 16x I'm getting closer but not close enough yet now let's try 12 12 negative 3 negative 3 times 12 negative 36 and 12x minus 3x well that gives me oh there we have it that equals 9x that came as a shock 9x is the same as the 9x there and see the nines match so the solution will be x minus 3 and x plus 12 again doesn't matter which order you put these in you could have x plus 12 multiplied by x minus 3 well there you have it I 
hope this presentation has assisted you with getting a better understanding of how to factorize using the cross method when we're factorizing monic quadratic equations. Until next time, good maths and bye for now.